local, live, interactive. This is Rogers Television. Welcome back. The subject is yoga, and specifically the importance of starting yoga at an early age. We're here in studio with Christina Niven, as well as Temi Ungerman Sears. And Temi has a couple of guests with her today. Now, Temi, I want to know if you could let us know who you brought with you today to show us the benefits of yoga. I've brought Alana and Dylan Ungerman Sears. They're my daughters who have been doing yoga since in utero. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time. Yeah. Alana's seven and Dylan's nine. They've been doing it their whole lives. Well, I, I think they're going to be showing us a couple of their, their cool moves today. Can we see some of those moves right now? Sure. That they've been practicing since in utero? <laughs> yeah, they'll begin in child pose and then they're going to come up and move through um, the Sun Series, mm -hmm. which is a warm up of postures. It can be used as a warm up or in and of itself a practice. It combines. Okay. Um, come on up, girls. And it combine, combines the breath and body and mind. They're starting out with cat pose and they'll move back into dog pose, and, and then they'll flow through the Sun Series. And what does the Sun Series do in particular for a child? It energizes the spine, mm -hmm. it brings their mind into their body, and it connects it with their breath, and it warms up all of the limbs, the muscles, the joints. It's a fluid, a fluid um, range of motion and movements that basically act as a warm up for the body to then move into the the rest of the practice. And how do they, they like this, like for instance the sun salutations and practicing yoga as opposed to say other sports or, or what have you? Oh, the kids love, they love yoga and uh, I think it's primarily because kids love to move, they love their being in their bodies, they're intrigued by challenging poses and what they when they see a, a very interesting yoga posture they want to emulate it, they can look in books, they can watch, in class there's, they are um, they're seeing the demonstration of the poses. So they naturally gravitate towards imitating what they see and they love to do yoga. Well, they've got so. great balance. Like I'm watching this and they're, I, I, I question how many adults would be able to do this. You know, it's interesting because um, recently I saw the, our community school was warming up for track and field and all the children who had the balance were those who had gone through the yoga program with me. Wow. Um, definitely yoga creates and enhances um, balance because you're using a lot of balancing postures you're learning to focus your gaze and your mind so mind and body come together and one of the many benefits and results is improved concentration which results in improved balance and as well could, are there obviously benefits to academic performance as well as performance in other sports absolutely because of the um, focus and concentration that yoga is required they are then able to translate that into their schoolwork and other activities. Increased attention span, increased concentration and focus are definite, definite benefits of a yoga practice at an early age. And why is it so important then to start so early? I know these guys started really early, but I mean, why we are seeing a lot more schools, for instance, across Canada that are introducing yoga programs at, at a really early grade, mm -hmm. and uh, particularly to address a lot of children who, say, are disenchanted with team sports or typical phys ed curriculums. Mm -hmm. So why are we seeing this? I think there's a number of reasons. Um, there's an unprecedented interest right now in children in yoga because of the obesity rates, the epidemic rates of obesity and sedentary lifestyle. I think as more adults are practicing yoga, more parents want their children to derive the same benefits. Mm -hmm. When a child starts young, they develop lifelong habits at an early age and it becomes just a normal part of their life and their repertoire. So improved posture happens early on which also results in improved concentration. The oxygen is flowing more through the body, through the spine. Um, and so developing improved posture and how they are in the world in their body, their self-awareness is enhanced. All of these skills, learning how to relax and calm themselves, the concentration that we've mentioned, etc., etc., become natural to them, intrinsic to their life experience. It's not something separate from what they're learning and what they're growing up with. And Christina, have you ever worked with children as well in your yoga practice? Not so much, mostly mm -hmm. adults. And do you find that, uh, again, would it have helped if people had the training earlier on when they come to see you? Absolutely. Um, 
you know, I, th I think that uh, mobility and flexibility, flexibility from, from what I've seen actually from my own life, I was a gymnast when I was very young, and um, my, improve, my flexibility has stuck with me ever since I was a kid. So I think that by kids being active from a young age really helps prepare them for their adulthood or for the rest of their lives, helps them to be more mobile. And possibly prevent injury further on, I guess, Quite later possibly. in life. Yeah. Now, I know with, very quickly, Temi, you have a fantastic, uh, obviously you offer yoga to kids, and your program's called Yoga Buds. Mm -hmm. Now, how would someone get in touch with you to find out about Yoga Buds and yoga for kids? Yogabuds.com. <laughs> it's a place there's to go. There's an email address and there's a phone number. Fantastic. Okay. You've been in operation for seven years now? Yes. Well, I've been running um, the Yoga Buds studio for 10 years. I teach adults, families, parent-child classes and workshops, and the kids program has been since 1997. But the um, studio itself has been since 1993. Oh, wow. So that's quite a while. Yeah. And things are obviously have been getting a lot busier of late. Oh, yeah. There's as you've been, told there's me. There's been an increase in attendance in the children's program and in the family programs in the last few years. Do you have families, whole families coming in, by mm -hmm. the way? Sometimes. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, oftentimes in a parent-child class, I'll have one parent with two or three children. Oh, that's together, fantastic. And then we work it all Great. together as a group. Well, yogabuds.com, we'll go there. All the cool kids Thank are you. there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Christina. Thank you, Temi. Thank you. Thank that you. was Temi Ungerman Sears, the founder of Yoga Buds, as well as Christina Niven. Next on Medical Intelligence, long thought of as a woman's disease, breast cancer is now afflicting more and more men. That story next. Please stay tuned. Call the Roger.